This is Lucian Miller from Innovative Designs. In this episode of Product Spotlight, we're going to take a quick look at the features and operation of the Scorpion Backup Guard. Maintaining control of our RC models is essential for safe operation. Even a momentary loss of control can have tragic results. If you've been flying very long, I'm sure that you've witnessed something like this before at the flying field. I don't have it! I don't have it! Oh, man! We all know that there's nothing worse than that sick feeling you get when you lose control of your model during a flight, and then have to stand there and watch helplessly as it crashes into the ground. Well, Scorpion feels your pain, and that's why they have developed the Backup Guard. The Backup Guard is a standby power system for your flight pack that features a built-in 500 milliamp two-cell LiPo battery along with a 5.1 volt 10 amp linear BEC circuit. It basically works the same way that a UPS does for your computer by keeping the computer running during a power failure. This easy to use device features an on-off switch, a red LED indicator light, a power output connector, and a combination balance and charging connector. The backup guard weighs only 38 grams or about 1.3 ounces, so it's the same size and weight as a standard servo. This makes it easy to install the backup guard in virtually any midsize or larger aircraft or helicopter. To install the backup guard, you simply plug the power output connector into the battery port or into an unused channel on your radio receiver or flight controller. When you turn it on, a solid red indication on the LED means that the battery in the backup guard is charged and ready for use. If you get a flashing red LED indication when you turn on the backup guard, as seen here, this means that the internal LiPo battery needs to be recharged before you can use it. The backup guard ships with the internal LiPo battery in a storage charge condition, so you will need to charge the battery before you use the backup guard for the first time. The battery in the backup guard must always be charged through the combination balance and charge connector. You cannot charge the backup guard through the output connector because there are diodes in the output circuit that prevent current from flowing back into the device. If you have a LiPo charger that is designed to charge a battery directly through a standard 3-pin JST XH style balance connector, then you can use that to charge the backup guard. If not, you can purchase the optional backup guard charge cable shown here. This cable features a male and female 3-pin JST XH style balance connector along with a standard Dean style battery connector. The cable plugs into the balance connector lead of your backup guard and provides you with both a balance connector and a charge connector just like you'd have in a typical two cell LiPo battery. With this cable attached you can charge or balance charge the backup guard with any standard LiPo charger. Just set the charger for a two cell 500 milliamp LiPo battery and begin charging. Once installed in your model, the Scorpion Backup Guard is very easy to use. When the Backup Guard is turned on, as long as the primary battery or BEC circuit provides more than 5 volts to your receiver and servos, the unit waits in a standby mode. If the primary flight battery or BEC voltage drops below 5 volts during your flight, the Backup Guard instantly kicks on, providing power to your receiver and servos, preventing a loss of control. When flying small to mid-size electric powered models, it's common to use the built-in BEC circuit in your speed controller to provide power to your servos and receiver. Normally, this works very well, but if you do have a catastrophic failure of your speed controller during a flight, it usually takes out the BEC circuit as well. In this case, not only do you lose power to the motor, but you also lose the 5 volt power that runs your receiver and servos. When this happens, all you can do is stand there helplessly and watch your model fall to the ground. With a backup guard installed, you would still lose power to the motor if your speed controller fails, but your receiver and servos keep running, and this allows you to make a controlled dead stick landing with your airplane or make a controlled auto rotation landing with your helicopter. The backup guard is also great for use in both GLOW and gas powered models as well. 
In these models, you typically have a rechargeable battery to power your flight pack. This could be a NICAD, a nickel metal hydride, lithium iron, or a LiPo type battery. Normally, these types of batteries are pretty reliable, but we have all seen cases where someone forgets to charge their receiver battery and then it goes dead halfway through the second flight of the day. Or you have a power switch or connector fail and that results in a loss of power to the receiver and servos causing a crash. With a Scorpion backup guard on board, if anything happens to your primary flight battery, the backup guard kicks on powering your receiver and servos and then you can finish the flight as if nothing happened. The Scorpion Backup Guard also helps prevent those dreaded brownouts that can occur with many of the newer 2.4 GHz digital receivers. Today's high power digital servos are great, but they can be real power hogs. During certain maneuvers such as snap rolls in airplanes or TikToks in helicopters, you have three or four servos that are all moving at the exact same time. This puts a huge load on your flight battery or BEC circuit. The combined current from all of these servos working together can exceed 10 or 15 amps in some cases. This high servo load can cause the voltage of the BEC circuit or flight battery to momentarily dip down below 4.5 volts, causing a brownout and reboot of your radio receiver or flight controller. Once this happens, it can take 2 to 5 seconds or more to regain control of your model. Trust me, that 5 seconds can seem like an eternity, especially if you're close to the ground when it happens. The 10 amp output capacity of the backup guard can provide the extra power needed to feed these hungry digital servos and maintain the receiver voltage high enough to prevent a brownout from happening in the first place. Many people have asked if the backup guard gives any kind of indication that it did kick on in flight. Well, the answer to that question is no, it does not. When using the backup guard in your model, you should always turn on your primary flight battery or BEC circuit first and verify that you have control of your model before turning on the backup guard. At the end of your flight, always turn off the backup guard first to verify that you still have control of the model and then turn off your primary flight battery. By using this procedure, you will be able to see if your primary battery or BEC circuit failed during the flight. One of the best features of the Scorpion backup guard is the low price. At only $24.99, the backup guard is a real bargain and the optional balance charge cable is only $399. With larger RC aircraft and helicopters costing well over $1,000 these days, the Scorpion Backup Guard is the best and cheapest insurance policy that you can buy to help protect your aircraft from a preventable crash and give you peace of mind while you fly. And with a low price of only $24.99, you can afford to put one in all of your airplanes or helicopters. The Backup Guard is available on our website at InnovativeDesigns.com in the Scorpion Speed Controller section. You can also purchase one from any of our network of fine dealers that carry Scorpion products. Thanks for watching this episode of Product Spotlight. We'll see you next time.